Hello and welcome to Megzone. In the previous lecture, we were studying about the concept of eye centers, and now from this lecture, we shall be starting our discussion from Kennedy's theorem. Kennedy's theorem. Now, according to the Kennedy's theorem, for the relative motion in a mechanism, any three links. Their instant, their three instantaneous centers must lie on a straight line. So, for relative motion in a mechanism, for the three links, their three instantaneous centers must lie on a straight line. So, this is actually the statement of the Kennedy's theorem. For example, if we have three links like this, this is link number one, two, and three. Here we will have the eye center of I one two because these will be forming a turning pair. Here we have I two three. So they are not forming a turning pair. Actually, there is a binary joint here. So link two and three. This would be I one three. Now here there are three. Uh, we have three eye centers and they are not lying on a straight line. Okay. Here the Kennedy's theorem is not satisfied. And hence, if we calculate, if we also see the degree of freedom for this particular mechanism is zero. And since the degree of freedom is zero for this uh, diagram, we can say that it is a frame or a structure with mobility zero. It has no mobility, and therefore it becomes a frame or a structure. So indirectly, we can say that those mechanisms which are not following the Kennedy's theorem, they will become a frame or a structure. Okay. Now we go to the theorem of angular velocities. In the previous lecture, we have already discussed that the instantaneous center is a point about which the general motion can be treated as pure rotation. So now we will discuss about the theorems on angular velocities. Say for any instantaneous center, I M N. I am writing I M N in general. It can be treated on one link. can be treated on one link say m that means if this i center is there it can be treated on either of the link it can be treated on the link m as well as it can be treated on the link n so ise hum m link par bhi maan sakte hain aur n link par bhi maan sakte hain to jo v into i m n hai it would be equals to omega m n i एम एन डॉट आई वन एम दिस इज इक्वल टू ओमेगा एन आई एम एन डॉट आई वन एन एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू वी इन टू आई एम एन सो वी हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस स्टेटमेंट हाउ एवर आई विल टेल यू अ वेरी सिंपल एंड अ शॉर्ट ट्रिक टू रिमेंबर दिस स्टेटमेंट वेर एज आई एम एन इज द कॉमन इंस्टेंटेनियस सेंटर फॉर द लिंक एम एंड एन ओके नाउ This theorem is actually applied uh, at I M N. So total instantaneous centers which are in use would be link corresponding to link one, corresponding to link M, and corresponding to link N. So the three links are link one, link M, and link N, such that I one M and I one N are at same. side if they are lying on the same side then we are considering that the direction is same for example if omega 2 is given and omega 5 is asked then how we can write this expression to find out the omega 5 so we will write i2 5 i2 5 will be the common instantaneous center for the link 2 and link 5 so we will write omega 2 here and we will write omega 5 here so i2 5 i2 5 will be written here since it is 2 so we will write i1 2 since it is 5 so we will write i1 5 What actually we are doing here is we are taking the distance between the i two five and the i one five, and here we are actually taking the distance between the i two five and the i one two. So in general, this expression can be treated as omega into r, which is actually v. Okay, so this is a very simple statement that can be written here. Okay, 
Now we will do a numerical which has been asked in the IES examination and these are and this is a very important numerical and I will also explain what I have just talked about with respect to the directional sense. Now for example if this structure has uh, if this mechanism has been given link 1, 2, 3, 4 such that this link is having length a this is also having a this is angle theta now it has been given when theta is equals to 180 degree and omega 2 is equals to 5 radians per second and it has been given in the clockwise direction what would be omega 3 we have to find out what would be the magnitude and the direction of omega 3 now since there are four links we are first going to determine how many instantaneous centers it will have. So L into L minus 1 upon 2 formula we will put N is equals to 4 to 4 into 3 upon 2. It will have 6 instantaneous centers. Okay it will have 6 in instantaneous centers. Now we will first draw the diagram when theta is equals to 180 degree. So this is the diagram when theta is equals to 180 degree. Now since we are having four links, we are going to write down all the possible combinations of the I centers which are possible. So we will write 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4, then we have 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in total there are 6 I centers which are possible. Now we will try to locate these I centers. So, this is link number 3, this is link number 2, so this becomes I23. This is 3, this is 4, so this becomes I34. This is 4, this is 1, this becomes I14. So, we will cancel out those I instantaneous centers which have already been marked 2, 3, 3, 4, 1, 4. Now, the I centers which are left are 1, 2, 1, 3, and 2, 4. Now, for locating this these eye centers we will draw a circle and in that circle we draw a rectangle oh sorry this is distorted but it is a rectangle we will write 1 2 3 4 and we will draw cross lines like this now we have to obtain the eye center 1 2 okay now Sorry, I2 uh, is also here. Here we will get I12. So I12 is also located. We have to find out the location of I centers I13 and I24. Now to obtain the I center I13, so reaching, so we have to adopt this path. And in order to reach this path, we can take two possible directions from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 1 to 2. 2 2 3 and the other part would be 1 2 4 and 4 2 3 1 2 4 and 4 2 3 and for 2 4 i 2 4 so from reaching 2 2 4 we can adopt two paths 2 2 1 1 2 4 and the other path which is possible is 2 2 3 and 3 2 4 so the I center I13 would lie on the intersections of these instantaneous centers. That means I12 and I23 and I14 and I43. We will extend the lines corresponding to these four instantaneous, these two instantaneous centers and then these two instantaneous centers. And the point where they will intersect would be the location of I13. And similarly is the case for I24. Now we see that I12 and I23, I12 is here, I23 is here. So we are going to extend this line on the either directions. So I12 and I23 since they are on one side, the line would be extended here. So these two lines are actually in the same sense and they are meeting here. So this would be the location of I24 because I24 is I12, I14, I14 is this, I12 is this. So this was the line I23, I34. I23 was here, I34 line was here. So since I I34 line was here, 
I12, I14 line is here. So the lines which are obtained by the intersection are actually meeting at this point. So this becomes I24. Now we will locate I13. For locating I13, we have I12 line this, I23 line this. So this will be the line corresponding to this set. Now I14, I14 is here that this line and I43, I43. So this line. So this and this line are actually intersecting at this point and hence it becomes I13. So now we will draw another diagram in which we will clearly show this is uh, one link, second, third, fourth. This is I12, this is I23, I24 is also at this location. This is I34, I14, I13. So this is actually the location of these instantaneous centers. Now we have been given omega 2 and we have to find out omega 3. So what we will write by using that statement omega 2 omega 3. Now since it is omega 2 and 3 we will write i 2 3 i 2 3 here and since it is 2 we will write i 1 2 and here we will write i 1 3. So omega 2 and omega 2 was given uh, 5 radians per second. Now this is actually the distance between i 1 2 and i 2 3. So i 1 2 and i 2 3 the distance in the diagram was given as a. So this becomes a and i 2 3 and i 1 3 I23 and I13. This was A and this was also A. So it becomes 2A into omega 3. So A cuts A. We will get omega 3 equals to 5 divided by 2 that is 2.5. Now the main part is we have to def uh, decide in what sense it will be established. So now we see that I23, okay, I23, I12 and I13, please look at these instantaneous centers, I12 and I13, they are lying on the same side. मतलब ये जो हमारा common instantaneous center है, इसके एक ही side में हमारे ये दोनों I centers lie कर रहे हैं, ठीक है? Therefore, if these are lying on the same side, if they are lying on the same side, then the direction is same as that of omega 2 that means this will also be in the clockwise sense however agar aisi situation ho jati yahan i 2 3 ho jata yahan i 1 2 ho jata aur yahan i 1 3 ho jata then instead of clockwise omega 3 would have become anti clockwise so this was the main point that i would uh, i was wanting to explain you all now we will do one more question based on the similar concept and this question has also been asked in IES and for about two marks. Okay, we have been given omega 2 is equals to 5 radian per second. Omega 3 has been given 14 radians per second. The sense for this has been given clockwise whereas no sense has been given for omega 3. We have to find out the angular velocity of the link 2 with respect to the link 3 we have to find out omega 2 3 so omega 2 3 is simply omega 2 minus omega 3 because it is a vector quantity and hence it can be written like this so the first point is to find out the instantaneous centers then we have to locate those instantaneous centers and then we will mark them on the diagram so the first point is since L is equals to 4 therefore number of instantaneous centers 4 into 3 upon 2 which is equals to 6. So 6 instantaneous centers we have I12, I13, I14, I23, I24, I34. Now out of these instantaneous centers which can be directly marked is I21, I12, I21, I14. I3, 4, I2, 3. So, I1, 4, I1, 2, I2, 3, I3, 4 have already been marked. 
we have to find out instantaneous centers I13 and I24. Now again we will draw a circle. We will draw a rectangle. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. We want I13. I13 means this. So I13 for two, we have two possible paths to reach 1 to 3. पे जाने के लिए हमारे पास दो possible paths है 1 to 2, 2 to 3. I12, I13 और दूसरा है I1 1 से 4, 4 से 3. तो I14, I4, 3. Next I center is I24. So I24 2 से 4 जाने के लिए we have two possible paths. 2 से 1, 1 से 4. I21, I14 and the next path is 2 से 3, 3 से 4. So I23, I3, 4. Now we will first locate I13. So I13 के लिए हमें देखना है I12 और I13. I12, sorry, sorry. I13 पे जाने के लिए I12, I23 है, sorry. I23 है, 13 नहीं है, 13 तो हमें determine ही करना है. तो I12, I23. मतलब कौन सी लाइन हो गई ये वाली लाइन हो गई इसको एक्सटेंड कर दीजिए i14 i43 i14 ये है i34 ये है इसको एक्सटेंड कर दीजिए तो कहां पर आके मीट करें यहां पर जहां पर मीटिंग पॉइंट हो गया दिस वुड बी द लोकेशन ऑफ i13 ओके नाउ वी विल लोकेट i24 i12 i14 i12 i14 मींस दिस लाइन ठीक I23, I34, I23, I34. Actually ये जो line है, ये थोड़ा सा tilted दिया हुआ है, ऐसे दिया हुआ है line. मैंने थोड़ा सा गलत बना दिया, ऐसे दिया हुआ है. ये ऐसा नहीं है, ठीक है? तो uh, I23 actually is lying here. I23 was given here. नहीं तो वो meet ही नहीं करेगा, तो center नहीं पता चलेगा. I21, I14 की तो line ये हो गई. I23, I34. I23, I34 की लाइन कहाँ है? ये हो गई। तो इस लाइन को एक्सटेंड कर देंगे तो यहाँ पर आके मीट कर रहे हैं। That means ये हो गया I24। तो I24 is lying here, I23 is lying here, I34 यहाँ आ गया, I13 आ गया, I14 आ गया, I21 आ गया। मतलब all the instantaneous centers now have been located. Now I23 would be omega 2 minus omega 3 ठीक है omega 2 भी हमें दिया हुआ है omega 3 भी हमें दिया हुआ है हमें मेन बात क्या देखनी है i 2 3 को देखना है ठीक है i 1 2 को देखना है i 1 3 को देखना है ठीक है now since these instantaneous centers are lying on the opposite sides of their common instantaneous centers so what we will do is we will simply change the direction Omega 2 has been given as 5 radian per second clockwise. So omega 2 is equals to 5 radian per second clockwise. And for clockwise, we are considering the positive convention. Minus omega 3. Omega 3 is also given as 14 radian per second. But since the symbol is not given for this. And from the diagram, we can see that I12 and I13 are lying on the opposite sides of the common instantaneous center. Therefore, their nature will be exactly opposite. For It means that if omega 2 is clockwise, omega 3 becomes anti-clockwise. So for anti-clockwise, we use a negative sign. That is, we will have minus 14. Okay. So this, become, this is omega so I'm simply we have to simply consider the magnitude I am we should not write omega 3 that would be wrong so we have plus 5 minus minus 14 and this becomes 19 and since 19 is coming out to be positive it means it will be a clockwise sense okay it will be in the clockwise sense now for example if this would have been i23 if this would have been i12 and this would have been i13 then what would we Omega 2 3, omega 2 3 would be omega 2 minus omega 3 such that we can write it as plus 5 minus plus 14 because since they are lying on the same side so the sign would be same for both. So this would come out to be minus 9 and minus 9 simply means in the anti-clockwise sense.
so these were the numericals which were very very important the next numerical that we will discuss is here we have one slider link one two here we have another slider link the ground link is one and this slider is four third third is the link which is connecting these two sliders like this okay we have to find out where is i2 4 where is i2 4 now i2 4 from the previous diagram we can remember that it is lying on the intersection of i12 i14 i12 i14 and i23 i34 now we already know that i12 would be at infinity because i have already explained you for a slider for a slider case the instantaneous center actually lies at infinity so i12 is at infinity then i14 i14 is also lying at infinity because this is also forming a slider so this is at infinity this is at infinity okay so these points are actually very largely displaced okay so where would 2 4 lie 2 4 would also lie at the point of intersection of these points Now, since these points are intersecting at infinity therefore i 2 4 will also lie at infinity however ye point diya tha m to kuch logon ne m ko bhi mark kar diya ye do points yahan par intersect kar rahe however ye jo infinity pe lines jo hai wo jaakar to infinity pe hi intersect karenge and that is why i 2 4 will be at infinity and what would be this instantaneous center it would be i 2 3 because link 2 and 3 are joined here and this would be i 1 4 okay this would be uh, sorry it would not be i 1 4 it would be i 3 4 so this point is i 3 4 this point is i 2 3 so i 2 3 and i 3 4 we have taken and that is why i 2 4 will be at infinity because these two lines will intersect at infinity okay we now come to a very important topic that is relative velocity approach relative velocity approach and the relative velocity approach is mainly used uh, it as in the conventional problems of IES but for example this is a link say A and B okay what would be this if the link is rotating like this this would be the linear velocity of b with respect to a in this direction that is velocity of b with respect to a and for example it is moving on a path like this so this would be 90 degree because this becomes a tangent and this becomes the radius okay for example if omega is like this omega of a b or omega of ba they both means the same okay first of all the omega is in the clockwise sense hence the velocity ba would be perpendicular to the link ab and in this direction also you will have v b a that is the velocity of b with respect to a so if a person is standing here he will say or he will observe that the vba will be perpendicular to this link the velocity of the point b with respect to point A will be in the direction such that it is perpendicular to the link and since omega is evaluated for the link therefore omega AB is equals to omega B this is equal okay now we come to another important topic that is velocity diagram in this particular lecture we shall be studying about the velocity analysis and in the next lecture we shall be studying about the acceleration analysis for example if this diagram has been given okay a o b c actually they should have been in the straight line by mistake I haven't drawn that this is the point D okay now what we will do is we will draw the velocity diagram corresponding to this diagram 
now one thing that we will know the velocity of this slider would actually be acting parallel to this direction the direction of the velocity of the slider would be in this direction and we know that the velocity of any particular link is always perpendicular to that link that means the velocity of v if we plot v o a that means the velocity of o oh, sorry v a o that means the velocity of a with respect to this fixed point will be perpendicular to this velocity of a with respect to b would be perpendicular to this velocity of b with respect to c would be perpendicular to this link velocity of c with respect to d would be perpendicular to this link now let us draw we will first mark the fixed point that is o and since velocity of a with respect to o would be perpendicular to this so we will take a little bit perpendicular sense and we will draw the diagram of any suitable length this so this is actually this point is o okay uh, and this point is say small a we will represent in the diagram with the small letters and this is v a and we will mark the direction v a means this is the velocity of a now for this link the velocity will be perpendicular to it the v b a that is velocity of b with respect to a if we are writing see if the arrow is directed towards that particular element then we will write v a however if the arrow was directed like this so we would written we would have written v o now we know that the velocity of this is actually perpendicular to it so Uh, this is uh, an abs absolutely a perpendicular line so we will draw like this so if we write this point is small b we will write v b a for this arrow but if we are if arrow is like this we will write v a b okay now what would be the absolute velocity of b the velocity of b with respect to this point if we will join this say here and this is the point what we will write it is the velocity of b it is also called as the absolute velocity of b or velocity of b with respect to o okay now this was also a point i have i think i have missed it this point is e okay this point is e now we will do or we will draw actually all the fixed points are merged at one point this and this are the fixed points then we will write simply o comma e these two points are clubbed at this position now we will draw the velocity of c absolute velocity of c with respect to e up velocity of c with respect to e will be perpendicular to this link so we will draw a perpendicular here we will draw a line such that this line is perpendicular to ec so this has become if this point is small c then this is velocity of c absolute velocity of c and if we write cd for cd the velocity will be perpendicular to this line so this is a perpendicular and we will draw okay this is d this is velocity of uh, d with respect to c because it is directing towards d and what would be this velocity this velocity would be the absolute velocity of d with respect to c sorry 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 this would be a straight line this would be a straight line why because the velocity of d would be parallel to this surface so this would be a straight line okay so straight line would be the velocity absolute velocity of d so i once again draw this diagram actually this diagram is drawn to scale okay so this is a b v b a c v c this will be this line o comma e this is d this is vdc this is vd okay so this becomes the velocity diagram for this particular 
configuration. Now it is very very simple to draw. You can review this lecture once again and see how have I drawn. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is that the velocities would be perpendicular to the given link. Okay, so with this we come to the end of this lecture. In the next lecture we shall be doing one numerical based on this concept and we shall also be starting with the acceleration analysis. Thank you so much. So, you can download our channel se pura study material bhi free of course download kar sakte. You simply have to go to the description section of this video and you can download all the study material. So, thank you so much.